security officers make it clear, anyone trying to jump the queue won't be helped. People here are waiting for cash payouts from Kenya's government, money to help them cope with rising food prices and a recurring drought. How much they receive depends on how vulnerable their families are. All my animals have died because of the drought. I have nothing left at home to eat. According to the UN, millions of people in East Africa are facing food shortages. The drought stretches far beyond Kenya. Parts of Ethiopia and Somalia have also been affected. Even if it starts raining significantly and people plant crops, it'll be months before they can harvest anything. Climate change is expected to increase the frequency and severity of droughts. As rivers run dry, people like Bishar Borale are traveling increasingly long distances in search of water. I have been walking for days with my animals. I finally found some water this side, but it's not enough. The government has suspended import duties and levies on maize, as well as animal feed, to cushion Kenyans from the rising cost of living. But many are still desperate. It is very hard uh, to say as uh, mothers or families might, uh, might run out of food or out of meals for almost a day or two days. Uh, or a situation where uh, sometimes it's even reported a death case due to uh, hunger. It has already been reported. So the situation is very bad. Community elders are worried. They say people have started fighting over dwindling resources. My son was looking after the camels. Four months ago, some men shot and killed him. Then they saw all the animals. For people in northern Kenya, savings are held in livestock. A man without animals cannot provide. Drought can wipe out a family's fortunes and it can take years to recover. So making sure their herds stay alive is a priority. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Wajir County, Kenya.